Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronnie Sweat, and I have in this tutorial on how you can easily do skin retouching using frequency passion. So, if at all you're a beginner and you have always wanted to learn frequency passion skin retouching from the very start to the very end, this is the right tutorial for you. So, simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel because when you hit the like button, it helps you to push and comment this video to many people out there. So, simply hit the like button, and you can see before and after for this image. Say before. And this is the after before after and we're going to be retouching this very image to look like this by the end of this tutorial so just come and delete this and first of all explain for you what frequency separation does and what it is all about frequency separation divides the image into the high frequency layer and the low frequency layer in the high frequency layer we have the textures and in the low frequency layer we have the color so in combine both the colors and the textures we end up with this image that we're looking at on this screen so what we want to do we just want to divide this very image into two layers by coming in the background and pressing ctrl j twice or you can simply drag and drop on the new layer icon to create those two layers so you can use ctrl j for windows and for mac it is command j so double click right here and name these two color and you're going to name this upper layer to double click on the name to name it to texture so we only want to remain with the information the way we have named it so we're just going to hide this texture layer and simply select the color layer and come to filter then come to blend come down to gaussian blur right there and with this this is the most important step when it comes to skin editing or skin retouching using frequency separation so when you mess up on this step it means the final results of your editing won't be very nice so you can set it open up the gaussian blur window right here so you have to look for an area that has more skin textures than the rest of the skin that you want to edit and under radius simply left click and hold down and you start dragging it up so you drag as you're releasing to see the textures disappear so for this layer we only want to remain with the colors so we are trying to eliminate the textures by blurring them away from the image so drag that up up the point when you're just starting to lose out on those textures so you have to stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear from the image and that is going to be the textures that we, we are going to be remaining with in the final image so you stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear don't make them lose out completely stop at the point when the textures are just starting to disappear so at round 7 that is when my textures are just starting to disappear but I can still identify where the textures were and simply click OK so just come to the texture layer now activate it and for texture layer, we only want to remain with the texture. So just come to image and come down to apply image. And you can see it opens up this apply image window. So the other step that is important when it comes to frequency separation is knowing the bit depth of the image. So mine is showing 16, meaning my image is a 16 bit image. And if yours is showing 8, it means your image is going to be 8 bit. So these usually have different settings regarding editing using frequency separation so for mine it, it is 16 so for this case i'm just going to select the color layer because we want to extract the textures from the colors so select the color layer the channel is rgb and make sure the blend mode for a 16-bit image is set all the way to add the scale has to be to offset zero make sure preserve transparency and mask cannot check and simply turn on the invert option and make sure the previous on and you can see the textures are on this gray layer which is lacking in the colors but if at all you have eight right here it means your image is going to be eight bits so what you have to do simply make sure you select the color layer the blend has to be subtract the scale has to be two and offset 128 and make sure the opacity is 100 percent present transparency and mask cannot check and make sure invert is not turned on and you can see that we have the same result so mine is 16 bit so i'll simply reset this to 16 bit settings and simply click ok so to get back the colors in the image simply come the blend mode and change it from normal and change it all the way down to linear light and you can see that we have gotten back the image the way it was meant to be so after doing this we're just going to put this two in a group and select them by pressing ctrl or you can use command and pressing ctrl g on the keyboard or you can select them and drag them into the group icon right there and rename it to frequency separation fs will do for my case and when you turn this on and off you can see that we have the same 
image even if we hide this you can start to basically have the same image so after ensuring that you can now come and start editing remember we want to refine the colors alone and also refine the textures alone in this photo so in order to refine the colors we select the color layer and if at all you want to refine the textures you select the texture layer so just come right here and hide the texture layer because we only want to deal with the colors and the other thing when it comes to dealing with colors don't edit the photo when you are zoomed all the way in because right now you can't you can't see the uneven skin tone transitions so make sure you retouch at the distance and in this so you can see or identify the uneven skin tone transitions and the other trick is when you're dealing with colors make sure you hide the textures because you don't want to be distracted by the textures in the photo so just come and turn off the texture layer for this meantime and select the color layer so in order to perfect the colors in the image simply come and get the brush the mixer brush tool so you can simply come under the brushes and you right click and get look for a mixer brush tool or you can find the mixer brush tool down here so it is the mixer brush tool and for whichever tool that you select within photoshop the settings for that tool are always going to be on this top task bar or this top menu right here so you have selected the mixer brush tool and come and set it so we want the mixer brush tool to be soft make sure the hardness is set right here to zero percent make sure clean brush is selected because as we're dealing with the skin we're dealing with different colors so we want the brush to be as clean as possible and make sure we have two options right here the first one is saying load the brush each and after each and every stroke and the second one is clean the brush after each and every stroke so make sure you select the second one which is going to be cleaning the brush because as we're editing the skin we are dealing with a number or a variety of colors that are different and we don't want the brush to carry color from one area to another so make sure clean the brush after each and every stroke has been selected the what you're going to be using for this case is nine percent load of 75 mix at 90 in the floor at 100 percent so what this brush is going to do it is going to mix and blend the skin tone colors and create a harmony between the transitions so you can say that we have these colors you can say that we have a dark color that is existing within these midtones right here so we are just going to blend that color so that it can blend into the skin tones or the midtones in that predominant areas so how to apply the mr brush tool you can increase or decrease on the size of the mr brush tool by using the open and close brackets on the keyboard then you can as well mix and blend so in order to mix you simply left click and hold down and you drag the mixer brush tool in the direction of the way a given area is shaped so for example if i told you want to edit the forehead area reduce on the size and make sure it is in relative or within the areas that you're trying to work on and left click and hold down and you mix so you mix that area just like that you left click and hold down until when you feel like it is mixed perfectly and you release and come left click and hold down again and you mix just like that and you can see you have to move the brush in the direction of the way a given area is shaped to keep and maintain the shape of that area so we have a dark area right here we are going to mix that dark area just like that and release and where it is transitioning from one area to another just come and mix that area so that we have a nice and smooth transition between those areas but as we're doing this you can notice that the image is looking a little bit plastic but this is okay because right now we are dealing with the colors and we just want to perfect the colors so when you come back and turn on the textures you can see a before after before after you can see that the textures are still intact within the image so just come and turn this off and continue working on the skin so when it comes to this cheek bone area or the cheek area you can see it is moving in this direction so i'll move my brush in the same direction to keep and maintain the original shape in that area so i'll just come and mix just like that so i'm just going to be doing this for the rest of the skin and i'll forward this or i'll fast forward this and i'll see you later on after i'm done blending the skin area so i'm just going to be forwarding this
And now welcome back and you can start we are done working on the skin area and you can see the before and after I'll just turn on the texture layer you can see before after before after so after refining the colors there is another step that we have to use that is refining the colors in the areas that we may have missed out when we're using the mr brush tool so for this case just come and select the lasso tool right here and make sure it is new selection mode the feathering is 22 pixels because we don't want the edges of the selection to be sharp and leave those annoying lines so make sure anti alias is selected and just come and make a selection on the skin area just like that so still the selection has to follow the shape of that area and as we are selecting make sure you don't select the hair or even the eyebrows or even don't select close to the edges of the skin because that is going to carry color from these areas and paint it on the face which you don't want so after doing that just come to filter blur and come to gaussian blur right here and it's going to load the previous radius for the frequency portion that we use when we are separating the frequencies of the image so with this simply left click and take up the radius up to the point when you feel like you are having a nice skin texture for the image so around 20 or 21 that is when we are having a perfect texture but for this i can share a technique so just multiply the radius that you had for your frequency separation seven so for our case we had seven so seven by three so multiply seven times three and type in the value which is 21 so i'll just simply come and type in 21 right here and you can start we have a natural texture and i'll be applying this onto the rest of the area so filter blur and come to gaussian blur and simply hit okay just like that so i just come you can tell i'm drawing the shapes i'm using different shapes because i'm mixing those colors in those areas so when it comes to those area I apply it on these colors the dark areas alone and don't apply it on the brightest area of the nose because that is going to make the nose look a little bit flat so you can see right now this looks okay and i'm just going to be applying this so right now we are done applying the fine tuning process and you can say before after before after so next thing is going to be removing the blemishes or pimples or acne or skin imperfections regarding textures so just come and perfect the texture layer by selecting it and coming and getting the clone stamp tool right here and after getting the clone stamp to make sure the hardness is set to zero percent or past that hundred percent flat hundred percent make sure align the selection and sample is set to current layer right here so after doing that just zoom into by using ctrl plus on the keyboard you can use command plus on the keyboard and with command plus you can simply start removing the blemishes so we want to sample a clean area next to a blemish and replace that blemish or pimple with that clean area that we have copied from the clean part of the skin so let me show you how to do this so you can use the bracket keys to make sure the brush size or the clone stamp tool is slightly bigger than, than the blemish that you want to eliminate or remove from the photo so to remove a blemish simply hold down the option key on the keyboard for Mac then for Windows hold down the alternate key on the keyboard when you hold it down left click on an area that is near the blemish that you want to eliminate and that is going to copy that clean skin from that area and release the option key or you can use release the alternate key for Windows and simply left click over the blemish and that is going to clean or hide that blemish with clean skin so i'm just going to be forwarding this and i'll be seeing you later on in this tutorial so let's just remove the blemishes you can say we're done removing the blemishes or skin imperfections from this model's face and you can say before after before after so right now we are done doing the frequency separation and skin retouching on this very image so let's do a little bit of eye whitening i know that whitening the eye is simply calm right here and come and simply select you and saturation and simply desaturate the reason for desaturating is because we want the eyes to look white and we just want to eliminate the rest of the colors that are existing within the white part of the eye so negative 70 is okay or 69 and when that is done it is going to desaturate the image so with the white llama simply selected right here press ctrl i on the keyboard or you can use command i on the keyboard to invert the effect and with the brush tool just come and get the brush tool make sure the hardness is set to zero percent or pass and the flat hundred percent and make sure you have black and white on these two color swatches or you can simply press d 
to research so you can even click right here so make sure you have black and red make sure white is the foreground color by using the arrow key you can use x on the keyboard so when you're done doing that you're now going to paint on the white area to reveal the desaturated layer that we created and in this way it is going to be whitening the eyes of our model right now you can see it is now whitening the eyes and eliminating the other colors and now don't paint on this corner because that is naturally red and touch those red colors so just paint only in the white area so to undo a given area simply press ctrl z or you can use command z so right now we are done retouching this very image so let's export the image so it doesn't change in color when we save it or post it on social media or even print it out so just come right here to file export export as so when you come to export as it's going to open up the export as window and make sure you select the format as jpeg right here image size leave it the way it is the scale at 100 percent make sure you select by cubic sharper because we want photoshop to sharpen the photo for us and now make sure you select convert srgb and also embed the color profile and simply click export and you choose the location where you want to save the image and as soon as you save the image is going to close this window and you're going to be going back into photoshop so this is it for this video and if i told you i've enjoyed this simply like this video and don't forget to subscribe to this channel if i told you i've been watching and you're not subscribed yet to this channel ronix from ronix photography thank you for watching and you can see the before after before after thank you for watching i'll see you in yet more amazing trials and don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating